Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a Q&A video. It's where I take some questions from the previous, you know, four or five videos, do my best to answer them. Um, of course, I can't get to all of the questions. I apologize for that, but um, I'll do my best and answer what I have here. But before starting, let me show you what's going on on the outside. Um, here in Ohio, we have gotten some snow again. It's just beautiful out there. Um, I always say winter probably isn't my favorite season because of the cold. I always get so cold. But if it looks like this and we have this beautiful snow, it's almost worth it, I think. And the space I'm sitting in right now, you may recognize as being the former Etsy shop down here in our basement. And yes, we finally did move everything out to the shop. Uh, we love it so far. And there's definitely a future video coming up on that. Uh, I still have times when I'm working upstairs and I think my niece should be down here working. I, it just seems so weird to not hear her. But um, it's as a whole, it's been very nice, uh, more space and much brighter out there. So let's get right to the questions. The first ones are from last month's Q&A. Uh, Lemon Crinkles says, how do you discipline yourself from overbuying and cluttering your home and shop? Um, trust me, I fail at that at times. Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm better at it than I, than I was at one time. Um, I think with years of, you know, buying and selling things, um, you know, you kind of get the idea of what will definitely sell and, you know, what won't. So that kind of helps, you know, to not uh, go buy things that really you have no use for and maybe nobody else does either. But it is hard for, you know, someone like me because I'm always out there looking for bargains. And thankfully, we do have a lot of storage here on our property. It's not the most convenient storage, but it, you know, it works. We have these little crawl spaces or attics in our house. And then out in the shop, there's some spaces that I have filled up with things. Um, it's just nice then sometimes to, if you need something and then it's there, uh, even if it goes, you know, a year before you use it. But I realize not everyone has, you know, access to having that extra space. So I guess in that way, we're really blessed here. But uh, sometimes that's not so good because you do end up having a buildup of things sometimes that just you never use. Um, then sometimes I'll just, you know, donate it back to the thrift store. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I feel like I'm kind of better at that than I was at one time. As for advice on how to discipline, I think it's just important to always think, you know, is, is this really something I need or um, can it be repurposed or whatever that somebody may find some use for it? Um, I just try to be careful at, I guess, what I buy. Uh, Denise Ryan says, I would love to hear the story of how you met your husband and wedding pictures too. Um, trust me, the wedding pictures are very few, if any. I would have to dig through stories to see if I could find any um, because you have to remember we were Amish at the time, so I, of course, didn't have a camera. And I believe my husband had a sister that had one, and I think she took a couple pictures, and I will see if I can find them. Uh, I'll run them through the scanner and put them on here, but you probably won't even recognize us if I do end up finding some. And then as far as how I met John, I'll just give you the quick short version. Trust me, there's a longer one that I won't get into. Um, just complicated how the Amish used to date, but uh, we were set up kind of through uh, his cousin, which he kind of knew me, um, set us up and we went bowling on our first date. I still vividly remember that first date. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we did a lot of talking. I remember just thinking he is so easy to talk to and we still both like to talk. We talk a lot. So communication never was an issue for us, and I'm very thankful for that. The next question here is Connie asking, does your sister, the artist, have a Facebook or Instagram page? Uh, she sure does, and I will link it down below if you want to check it out. And if you haven't seen her art, uh, make sure to check it out. She does amazing work. Uh, Judy says, I would love to see canning videos. Also, how's your bathroom floor holding up after you painted it? Um, the canning videos, I definitely plan to still film a few this winter, just haven't gotten around to it. I did see there was a lot of interest in the comment section and I, um, I was kind of excited about that because I thought I want to do some canning for us anyway and I love if I can you know share some of my things that I do around here if it's a benefit to someone. And then also how is the bathroom floor holding up? It's holding up beautifully. I'll try to get a quick little snip of it here, put it up on the screen for you, but I'm just uh, so impressed that it's holding up so well after all the time I spent on it. Jolie Mangold says, I just started following you and I wonder if you ever do a Q&A where you tell your story of how you came to have a channel, how long ago, and where did you get your sense of style? I also would love to see canning videos. Uh, thanks for the interest in this and I definitely want to share my story someday. Um, I feel like it could be inspiring to people. That's why I'd want to share it. Um, I always tell people if I can do this, you know, have a channel and put myself out there, 
you can too because I am not a natural when it comes to talking in front of the camera. I'm not a speaker. I'm not good with words, but somehow this all, you know, kind of came to be. And to me, it's been such a huge blessing. Uh, I feel it's a God thing and I could not do this, what I'm doing without you guys. And I hope I say that enough. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, if it wasn't for that, you know, I wouldn't have a channel. Uh, so it's you guys that make this happen too. I admit often I hesitate to talk about my channel for fear of maybe sounding boastful and I know I shouldn't worry about that because if I know in my heart I don't feel that way why do I worry then what people think but um, it's just the way I am I guess I don't want to come across as that way so maybe someday I'll you know share my story and hopefully inspire people Marianne Worley says I have a question is there a difference between using the Annie Sloan clear wax and using Minwax paste wax I've, I've used paste wax to seal my projects and it seems to work well have you ever used it I have never used it in fact I didn't even know it exists I'm not sure where I've been here but I'll definitely have to try it um, that's why I just love some of these comments and questions you know I actually end up learning something the next questions are from the Bed Springs video. Uh, Kathy says, did you learn to use power tools on your own? Um, somewhat, uh, I did have some people in my life that definitely helped me, whether they knew it or not. I remember as a little girl, you know, watching dad in his shop, I was always fascinated to see how, you know, power tools worked. Uh, I, of course, was, was too young to use them, but I definitely stored that in my mind uh, for the future. And then my husband is also a, you know, he did a lot of carpentry work already in his life and then also worked in a cabinet shop for years. So um, he taught me a lot about tools too, which is really nice. Uh, Beverly R says, do you have a portable heater to use in that area? Um, yeah, we actually have an electric heater in the, what is now the Etsy shop. Um, I had done some work in that video. I had worked in there and it was still a bit chilly because we had not been fully heating it at that point. Um, and then the other, the messy area where our workshop is uh, right now is not heated, but we plan to eventually maybe install a heater in there as well. Uh, G. Davis says, how did you cut the springs apart? Hacksaw? Um, I actually just took pliers and kind of unbent the, the part where there was another metal um, frame thing that held the springs in place. I just kind of pulled those up and then pulled the springs out. Uh, Donna so for it says how long did you cut the legs and how long the three bottom supports and the two bottom end supports uh, yeah I'm sorry I should have included that in the video and I had intentions as I was going I think I gave the measurements maybe for the top and that was as far as I got but I will put those up on the screen here the exact measurements of that little bench that's what she's talking about here uh, the next questions are from the decorating for winter video uh, the first question here when does winter start on your side of the world um, officially it starts in December, uh, December 21st, 22nd, and then spring starts in March, also 21st, 22nd, something like that. But our weather um, here in Ohio um, can be cold already in, you know, even October sometimes we get a little bit of snow or cold days. And then November, December, January, February usually are pretty cold. Um, sometimes we get some, you know, signs of spring already in, you know, February, the last of February maybe, um, even if it's just maybe the birds singing differently or um, I always look forward to those first signs of spring, but um, March can even be very wintry here in Ohio, but uh, at the same time it also can warm up and have some, we can sometimes have some spring-like days in March too. Uh, Michelle Baker says, I love your curtains, thank you. Did you make them yourself or did you purchase them? Um, I kind of made them. I bought sheer panels um, at Walmart and then I sewed the tan strips on them. Um, I know I've talked about this before, but uh, we do sell some on our Etsy shop. So far, I have had such a hard time finding that perfect color of tan fabric to sew you know, onto the sheer panels. Uh, we do have gray ones right now, but I'm still on the lookout and it's just a matter of taking time to really go look for it. But um, kind of on the lookout for a pretty tan fabric because I think a lot of you guys would you know, maybe buy tan ones. Um, it's just a nice neutral color and I've had them for years. It's something I don't grow tired of. Uh, Pam says, I wanted to ask if you would consider showing us how you care for your plants. They're always so pretty and I just can't seem to keep any alive. Uh, trust me, they're not always that pretty. In fact, the ones that die for me, which yeah, that does happen, I usually just, you know, get rid of, but uh, that's probably why you just see, you know, nice ones, but I'm not, I don't consider myself to be that good with house plants, uh, maybe better than I was at one time. My sister's really good with it, so she's, you know, kind of taught me a lot, but, you know, don't water them unless 
they're actually dry. Uh, just water them if it's necessary. I think a lot of the time people tend to maybe overwater house plants. Uh, a lot of plants actually prefer to be on the dry side. Um, I had to kind of learn how to do that myself too. I just always felt they needed water, you know, to survive. And the way I often do it is just stick my finger into the dirt. Uh, like this plant here is kind of feels dry on the top, but if I kind of dig down, I feel a bit of moisture, so it's still probably okay, but um, it could use some water soon. Uh, Rachel's Daily Dews says, what kind of hand vac do you have? Um, I have the Dyson, I think it's Cyclone V10 is the, the model of it, and I love that vacuum. So the next questions are from the Valentine video. Uh, so the first question here is, I'm not sure if I want to open it. My niece, uh, you know, like I said, gets these questions together and then she'll name each question with usually just a number. But if it's something a little out of the ordinary, she'll put add something else. But here it says 18. That's the question 18. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. Uh, Jane Nurley says, is your husband romantic? What is the best romantic thing he has done for you? I love your channel and you, such honesty. Well, thank you for those kind words. I appreciate it. But yeah, I can see this would probably make my niece smile. She, of course, knows John quite well, and depending what I say here, she'd probably tease him about it. But as far as is he romantic, he is. I don't know what he even think he is, but just stuff he automatically does is actually a romantic. But as for the best romantic thing he has done, um, I'd have to think on that. Um, you know, he does lots of small little things that I consider romantic, but... Um, oh, I know a good one. Uh, last spring we were walking in the woods with uh, another couple, uh, friends of ours, uh, just a beautiful spring day, and this was at a, a state park, I believe, and we came across where someone had years ago, you know, created a trash dump. Someone just dumped their trash into the woods, uh, but we came across this antique sink, and it was a heavy, maybe a cast iron, I'm not sure what the material was, but uh, very heavy, but had that kind of high back, and I was a bit rusty, but still in relatively good shape. And many of you may have seen this on my Instagram. I think I had short, shared this in a post. Uh, but I know at the time I just kn knew I needed to have that sink because I imagined, you know, creating a little, you know, a potting bench or a water garden or something with it. I remember hinting to John that I'd really love to have that sink. Um, here he'd have the other guy to help him carry it out since it was so heavy. Uh, we still had about a quarter mile to walk until the truck and a lot was, you know, uphill. And he, of course, did not want to at the time. He was like, oh, no, just leave it. Uh, too much hassle, which I totally don't blame him. I was uh, asking for a lot, you know, to get him to carry that out. And then a couple days later, he came home from work, uh, just a bit later than usual. I thought he had just been working late, but um, he took me out to his truck, and here he had that sink uh, on his truck bed, and I could not believe it. He actually took the time and called the state park and made sure it's okay that he'd go back and get it. And he drove, you know, 45 minutes to the park, um, you know, walked that probably quarter mile back into the woods, um, got that heavy sink, and I still want to weigh it sometime. It's almost more than I can pick up. And he carried that mostly uphill, you know, up to his truck. And But, yeah, that was really, really special to me. Um, still haven't used it. I, I want to incorporate that into my spring projects. I'm excited for it. Uh, Cynthia Hale says, what is the brand of paint you call the malted milk? Um, it is a do-it-best brand paint, but I'm trying to think if that is their color. You know, you can go to your hardware or wherever and just give any color of other companies' paints, and they, if they have the formula, they can mix it. Um, I'll try to put that in the description box in case any of you are looking for that beautiful pink color that is called malted milk. Um, I know there's a number that goes with the name, and if you, again, give that at your local hardware, they should be able to mix it for you. Uh, Jen Writes by Beach says, are the eucalyptus sprigs something you made or bought, or are they real? Uh, so pretty with the pale pink. Yeah, I love those eucalyptus sprigs. Uh, I got them from Amazon, and I'll link it down below. Um, I was really impressed with how real looking they are. Uh, the last questions are from the Cricut video. Uh, Carolyn Pullen says, what kind of computer do you have? Um, I use this computer. It's an HP Pavilion. Uh, this is what I had used for my um, Cricut to, to work with the Cricut. But I have a, another one that I bought for the girl that does the decals. She has a Silhouette Cameo that she uses with it. It's a cheaper HP computer, and it works perfectly for you know working with those machines if you're just looking for something like that. 
but again this one is a little more pricey I had to get a better one for video editing and such things but I'll link both of them down below the cheaper one and then the more expensive Renee says is design space just available for Windows is there an app that I can put on my Chromebook um, I'm pretty sure there is an app I probably shouldn't even answer that without you know having done it myself or knowing for sure but I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere where there's actually an app that you can use you know on your tablets and phones uh, for that design space Jana Duncan says would you suggest this for an absolute beginner um, I think I would recommend the Cricut for a beginner maybe even over the Cameo um, for me I started out with the Cameo and um, I, I of course you know know it so well now it's not hard for me but I just remember being frustrated those first times that I used it but I almost felt like the Cricut would be maybe easier to understand. Uh, Karen here is asking about, oh, she says, I need a new laptop. Do you have a recommendation? Which I guess I talked about that. Definitely link both of those down below. Uh, Cami Richardson says, will either of the machines, the Cricut or the Cameo, cut wool, felt, or fabric? Or are they just for paper and vinyl? Uh, now, to be honest, I've never cut anything besides vinyl and paper on them, so I probably shouldn't even answer that, but I do know the Cricut is really advertises how they can cut just anything. I think there's over 300 different types of material that that machine can cut, which is far out. Uh, you can actually find it in the settings. That way you can, it will actually cut, you know, accurately for that um, material that you put on the mat. Uh, now, for the Cameo, I'm thinking it probably would too, but I... Again, I should have done research. I'm not sure that they um, have as many options. So I'd say if you're looking to cut fabric and things like that, I'd probably get the Cricut. And I do have a link down below. I actually have an affiliate link. It's kind of my first one here. Um, it's not. It does not cost more for you guys, but if you do end up ordering anything off of the Cricut website through my link, I think I get a small commission. And um, it's kind of new for me here, but I just recently signed up. Um, kind of excited about it, but. Um, I definitely want to share some more projects in the future of what all that machine can do, too. But um, I'll still always hang on to my Silhouette Cameos, though, because I, I love those machines, too. But I can't say that one is really better than the other. So that pretty much concludes today's questions. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, me and my cats here in the basement. Um, I smell something delicious coming from upstairs. Uh, the boys are both home today. There wasn't any school because of the snow. And the oldest has some days that he actually works at home on his computer, so that's what he's doing today. But uh, the youngest, Ephraim, is into fixing these fancy dishes, and I think that's what I'm smelling, so I can't wait to see what he has. I hope you're having a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. Bye.